just be a real nigga You ain't gotta lie in your songs and say you kill niggas I ain't tryna hear all that fake shit, I don't feel niggas That's your big homie, why you always with the little niggas? I don't understand, I probably never will Haven't signed a deal, I probably never will Tell your nigga chill, he aggressive off them pills Help them get addicted but won't help that nigga heal Hanging out with rats and wanna kill them when they squeal Y'all niggas for real? <laughs> Everything about the bag Came here with game, but ain't no set and ain't no rag These niggas throwing signs to a set they never knew Album full of verses, full of shit they never do Please put an end to it Proper communication, that's how men do it You know how much it hurt if you been through it Why would you put your next to kin through it? <laughs> Cause niggas really die over auto-tune lies Come to where you live just to kill you on Focus on yourself, we trying to establish wealth Shop. Man, this is the real MVP right here. I always say that. And this truck will pull any fucking thing. There we go. My little Omani Carlo with the T tops. You see, it's fucking kind of glary outside. I'm fucking look fucking good. I love that stance. I love that stance. All I need, all I need is fucking quarter panels over the fucking tire just enough to touch just enough to touch that back lip to come down to that back lip that shit looks so good and then now that i got it now that i got it out here and got it in some open space where i can back up on it i ain't do too bad on the the stripe kit sure about that you sure about that you sure about that I ain't do too bad on it. Motherfucker, motherfucker look, dude look nice. Motherfucker look damn good. <sighs> Testing tune. Um, getting my AC charged. And, um, bleed my brakes. Other than that, man, this thing, but. thing look pretty damn good 88 88 Monte Carlo with the motherfucking t-tops with the t-tops on that thing motherfucker look good still gotta still gotta clean up my suspension and shit but it ain't too it ain't too bad I still need to, uh, I did cover that tank up real good, but, um, yeah, man, ah, ready to be done with this shit, and then I did go ahead and compliment that back with the rope, I gotta cut that, but, um, Pretty damn good. It's dusty. It's dirty. But as y'all can see, you can see them little particles in there. <laughs> yeah, this thing came out damn good. It came out really good. I ain't got nothing to complain about. Super good. I like it. That's all. That, that's all that matters, really. <sighs> but yeah, man. I'm up here waiting on Mike, and then he could drop this thing off. If going on about my business, I got some other little shit to do. I gotta get that piece. My piece will be here to finish off the trunk. So I already got all the measurements to do that that little piece in the back and um shit the trunk once i get it back i'll put that piece in the trunk 
and then finish out my lights throughout the trunk and then and then i'll be pretty much done i gotta adjust that i don't, I don't like that sitting up like that but i think that's i think that's kind of i don't know i think that's i think that's kind of bent out or i might order i might order another one because that's too that's too far bent out or somebody been prying on it yeah because this one is straight yeah, I'll probably order another uh, handle. Cause that one, if you look at that one, that one is straight like it's supposed to up under the line. And then you go back over here and look at like somebody been prying up on this one. So I don't know. Get, get that straightened out. But um, other than that. And then I and then I went different in the back if y'all can if y'all can tell with the uh, stripes because usually usually they all sit on this but I I got a wider stripe so that I could take mine's up on the top and then space it out and then do my two lines so that complemented that complemented a little different too as you can see. That shit look good. You sure about that? You sure about that? You know, it look a, it look a little off, but I can deal with it. I can deal with it. Sir. Oh, shit. Stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. I'll probably put like the last little couple video clips on uh, YouTube and probably some of the other videos I got. And then I'll do a a flashback war from when I got the car. And I'll probably do just like a compilation of the steps that I took to get it to this point. But this thing came out. It came out super good. We got it up here. I just I just talked to Mike. Um, I just told him I was just gonna drop it off since he got people up here. But um, yeah, man, here she is. Um, test tune, brakes, and uh, AC. So, shit. Hopefully everything go according to plan. Just do like a little overview because um, every time I drop my car off to a shop, I always do an overview. Even though, even though I do trust Mike and them. Sure about that? I just, you just never know. Um, just to let you know that this thing is in tip-top shape. No scratches, no dents, none of that shit. But. Um, Gotta remind myself to get some handles. Get another set of handles for 
but just to show you that it ain't got no discrepancies on it. You always gotta do that nowadays. When you're dropping cards off at shops, not that you don't trust them, it's just for your safety, for their safety and yeah, mine. But uh, shit, all I can say is stay tuned. You heard? And I'm out. Stop worrying about what other people think about you and be sure that you think correctly about yourself.